paper. Um, hello everyone. Y'all might be wondering what the hell am I doing here? Well, this is my new apartment. I have been very busy moving, trying to find a job, going back to my old apartment to grab more stuff. I even got into a car accident. My car is totaled, so I have no car right now. But it was not my fault, so praise. I moved in with my boyfriend as you may be able to tell by some of the decorations and as I mentioned in one of my YouTube community posts I am looking for a full-time job right now so I cannot post every week like I wanted to so I'm really sorry about that that makes me very sad because I love recording and posting videos here on YouTube but hopefully one day I can come back to posting every week this video is going to be more like a weekend or a few days in my life of being a crochet artist or a crocheter, crochet YouTuber, content creator. I'm not too sure yet, but if you read the title and thumbnail, then you know what's going on. This is more of a vague video while I'm just adjusting and still moving everything. I think I'm going to give you a quick apartment tour and then we will get into my crochet goals, what I've been working on, what I want to make, and just my goals for this month. So yeah, let's get started. First, of course, is the front door. She's playing right now, but it has two locks so we're safe then we have a little pantry right here by the door i put all of our cleaning stuff here our valet trash so fancy a step stool because i'm short some shelves up there a mop and an extra container for whatever gym bags jackets and then we put in these hooks for our car keys and ej's walking thing shoe mat and yes it is still a work in progress but here is the island kitchen and living room we still need a couch we're looking for one on facebook marketplace right now our entertainment center a tv boxes i still need to put more of my stuff in mirror we need to hang up the beautiful view and patio ej dog bed our gaming chairs because we love playing Fortnite together that's the only game i can play with my boyfriend his pc setup this is stuff we're trying to sell ej's little corner so cute i bought her a new dog bowl just yesterday two little stools for the island i love the island so much fridge already got some magnets on it and our little bar area it's so pretty right there is so much space i don't even know what to do with it our fridge i love this so much this soda dispenser it's so cute and an egg completely useless but it just looks cool our dinner <gasps> some coffee i actually want to make this with y'all today and try it it just looks so good veggies and fruits we're actually trying to be a lot more healthier and cook our own food and meal prep so far we've been doing good with it here is the freezer um as you can tell we don't have a lot of food right now because we're just trying to keep healthy stuff like here are frozen bananas um chocolate covered bananas pineapple strawberries we don't want to fill it with like fake food i guess like Aww. hot pockets bagel bites which i love toaster strudels pizza stuff like that this is my most prized possession my eggplant look how girthy huh? it's just it's beautiful and we have another pantry here for food sodas are like the one thing i can't give up that's unhealthy besides coffee coffee and soda like i i can't go without i just need it i'm sorry but i'll eat all kinds of other healthy stuff i don't have any cereal because the cereals i do like are not healthy like fruity pebbles and cinnamon toast crunch ej said she wants to show y'all the room right ej no! let's go let's go go here's this little hallway this is our laundry room extra stuff right now but washer dryer little shelf and then more space over here we haven't even put anything over here which is crazy just because we have so much room now this is the bathroom 
the hell? Oh my wow. Oh, yes. I'm going out tonight with my boyfriend to little parties. So I have all my stuff set out to get ready later. Makeup organizer that I have out here. I don't want to have too much out. So this is it. Besides my toothbrush and in this little section. All this extra stuff is usually all put away. And then my boyfriend's little corner, which is so cute. All these cabinets, look, so much space left. And I already brought everything from my bathroom at my apartment, so I have no idea how we're gonna fill the rest of that up. My boyfriend's spot, he has almost nothing. Toilet paper, some more of my things. Another pantry, or cabinet, whatever, with more space. I love these baskets I bought. Look how ee, organized it looks. I love it, I love it extra towels so beautiful so this is to our bedroom open her up and the bed is still in progress we have a lot of stuffed animals as you can tell we have no sheet or like comforter for our bed yet my bed stand table boyfriend's bed stand table here's the rest of the room clothes we're still putting stuff away cabinets laundry basket I need to bring my shelf here so I can put all of this stuff away on it. Another mirror, and this is our closet. She is a bit small, but it works. <laughs> my boyfriend needs a shoe rack to put all his stuff on. And then all my clothes, so many hangers. I need to get matching hangers, like all one color, all white or something, just to make it look nicer, because right now it looks, I don't know, just not too cute. I have my shoe rack back here and then all my purses and of course I had to bring her dog steps it does need to be clean though that's my apartment or our apartment our patio is so spacious which we love but I don't really want to show it too much just in case someone can tell where I live my first ever apartment tour Yay! so happy so cute I love it I can't wait to just decorate it even more and just really bring everything together let's get started with all of the crochet things to the bedroom <laughs> may be able to tell it is the next day now cute fit it looked cuter but i'm home now so i just kind of unwind it a bit you know it feels so weird recording here it is not the best quality right now because i don't have my um lights i don't have my tripod and the room still isn't finished so if this is the first video of mine you're watching i promise it'll get better just stick with me here is my crochet bag that I take with me when I am on the go. My beautiful, lovely grandma gifted me this. As you can see, there's these little spots to pull your yarn through so you don't have to have your whole skein out in public if you're at an appointment or on a bus. And it has an inside pocket for whatever you want. And then it also has another pocket on, on the outside for more tools. So I have my hooks and scissors and glue and stuff in here. And then of course the yarn. My current project right now are these stupid pickles that I have seen all over Instagram, TikTok, social media. They're the same as those potatoes 
just emotional support little stuffies. They are kind of cute. I thought they were a bit dumb at first, but I don't know. They're just very simple, but people like them. So I am making some for my stepmom. No hate. I'm not saying she has bad taste or something. It's just, I don't know. I guess I'm a hater because everyone loves them and I want to be different so bad. But yes, I made two. She wants four. I hate when I make I hate when I'm making the same thing over and over and the first one is completely different from the second one. Like look at the difference. I followed the exact same pattern. I didn't change anything and they're completely different sizes. So hopefully she won't mind that. I need two more. I started on a third one and then I have this little mini scheme to finish up. And yeah, that's it in here. That is my current project. I'm not making anything for myself or doing any challenge right now just because I've been so busy. And a little surprise is that I have actually started learning how to knit. My mom gave me a lot of old stuff that she just had for my grandma. Um, yarn, knitting needles, and knitting yarn specifically. So I decided to try because I honestly like the way knitting looks better than crochet for clothing at least it just looks a lot more i don't know crisp more clean hold on i almost forgot about my coffee i added cinnamon on top too she's so fancy this took me so long i don't know if i just am not experienced enough but i had to undo this over 10 times i'm not even joking or being extra because i would miss or drop a stitch and i couldn't figure out how to go back to it like with crochet you can just undo your work to the exact spot you missed but for knitting i had to completely restart the entire project even though the spot i missed was one row down and like the first five rows are okay i still had to completely take the whole thing apart i'm not sure if that's just how knitting is or if i'm missing something but yeah like are you just not allowed to make mistakes in knitting like Ever. and if you do you just have to restart your entire project because I don't understand how to take out your work and then put it back on when you are fixing a mistake or drop stitch I don't know if any of y'all are knitters maybe y'all could explain it to me because I have tried looking it up but I don't want to watch 20 minute videos that, that are explaining a 30 second situation so I've just been trying to read articles instead of watching videos to find out how I can keep my progress or keep my work but I couldn't find anything and then I'm not experienced enough so I don't know the exact terms I could be like searching with to help me find an answer <sighs> so yeah anyways um a whole knitting rant but I'm super excited I love it I only have these huge needles and I really wanted small ones to make clothing or like a sweater or socks and I thought these were a good size for those but I guess I need really tiny tiny needles to do that so we'll have to go buy some I heard knitting needles are expensive so now I have to do research on that too I'm gonna make a mini scarf with it though just to like toss over a basic shirt like this bring out some personality and yeah so those have been my two current projects this is all the stuffing i have for my pickles so hopefully i don't need too much more as for my goals i don't really have anything specific that i want to make right now i do have a lot of projects saved like on my youtube playlist or pinterest but there's nothing that i'm dying to make but there are specific videos i want to make so i might just base my project around a video like my next video i want to test out this pattern by a designer i met online so i will pick one of her patterns and then i also want to do a youtube or my subscribers pick my next project so that will be something y'all pick for me okay so enough talking and rambling let's actually start on our crochet project i haven't crocheted in forever probably about a week so i really miss just vegging out and just sitting here playing a youtube video and just working you know i'm actually super excited especially with my coffee here Woo! it's gonna be so relaxing i will see y'all in the next clip when i am crocheting relaxing and just enjoying the rest of my evening <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
ready baby mm. hello guys we finally finished our third pickle here she is here's all three of them Ooh. here's all three of them um what do y'all think of my hair i'm trying to put more thought and care into my appearance just because i know i will not be this young forever i'm gonna get wrinkles my hair is gonna gray so i just want to make the most out of my body while i can that sounded a little weird and depressing but i mean it's life you know it's true we all age it happens so just gotta accept it <laughs> anyways let's get back to crocheting right now the store is they just heard it's Japanese stuff but like
Hello guys. Here I am once again. That's all I know. It is a new day and I am back with a new project. <laughs> Let me give you the stats real quick. 5.0 hook, cream weight 4 acrylic yarn, and the goal in mind, a cute plushy hammock. That's the long story short. And if you want the long story, keep listening. I finished the pickles last night as y'all saw and I remembered that I wanted to make a little hammock in this corner specifically on top of that sign for my plushies just because I get annoyed having to take all them off and put them back on my bed every night and then these just fall off sometimes and I think it would just look more cleaner if I didn't have as many stuffed animals back here behind me so that is why I'm making a hammock to Put them in because I don't want to get rid of any of these. All these have sentimental value or were gifted to me. So yeah, I just chained a random amount. I didn't even count. I just held it up to the wall. So once I liked how long the hammock was, I just went in and did single crochet all the way down. And that is the first row. So now we're just going to be doing the same stitch over and over, which is the mesh stitch. I'm going to be doing treble crochet, skip three, and treble crochet. That's really it. Let's get back to crocheting. Oh, and real quick, I'll work while I talk. The Daiso shop was so cute. My boyfriend was the one who bought everything in the cart, actually. I didn't buy anything from there. I was very tempted, but I didn't want to spend too much money so i just didn't grab anything because i knew once i grabbed one thing i would just keep putting stuff into the basket but it was so cool being able to finally go myself because i've seen so many youtubers i watch go and so it was just kind of like a full circle moment me being able to go myself and even record also and put it in my own vlog and edit it it's so nice my boyfriend loves anything japan related he wants to go visit one day actually he loves anime so he was very excited to go and he had a lot of fun which was so um sweet just being able to watch him shop and grab stuff and be excited about it so yeah i can't wait to go back with him again and try out some new snacks Okay, bye for real.
Okay guys, we're here. We made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I really loved how the hammock turned out. It's so cute. Oh my god. Look at all the little stuffed animals. And it just looks so much clearer and nicer back here, which I love. I'm so glad we got two projects done in this video. That rarely happens, so that's super cool and an accomplishment. I've been so busy, so this really does feel nice. I'm so glad to get back into crocheting and my crafts and hobbies. And I can't wait to bring y'all along with me on that journey. Thank you so much for watching my video and an extra big thank you if you have stayed this long. You should comment mm, the ice cream emoji if you're still here watching this. That way I know who my true lovers are. And I'm so glad that y'all are coming back every video to just catch up with me. I'm starting to recognize some of the same people commenting under my videos or my community posts. And that is just so sweet and fills my heart up. I really feel like I'm making some online friends in our own special community here on YouTube, which is super cute and fulfilling. And I just can't wait to grow with y'all. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Mwah.